Hey there guys and welcome back to Hursty Games and welcome to another attempt to try and qualify for the weekend league in the kind of general way that I do it. This time with the squad builder we did uh, could the QPR team make it into the weekend league. Now we're seeing if a team of ex-QPR players could make it in. So let's have a little look at the team we've made. I've got it in front of me here and every single one of these players at some point has been at Queen's Park Rangers. So let's start off Tom Heaton in goal. He was at QPR in 2009, did not play for us. He was on loan from Manchester United, but he was at the club, so he does count. Uh, then we have Stephen Corker, who's obviously just left recently. You can see he's got the QPR badge, obviously, in his card, but he doesn't actually play for us anymore. He left within the last week or so, joined us in 2014, and has made a total of 49 appearances in that time, joining Southampton and Liverpool on loan during that time as well. Uh, then we have uh, Damien Delaney, who played for us back in 2006 to 2009, playing for us a total of 54 times, getting himself two goals. Um, I wasn't actually aware that he played for us until a little while ago, um, so it just really helped out making the team, if anything. Uh, up next, we have Raheem uh, Sterling, who was part of our youth uh, team from 2003 to 2010, uh, before he joined Liverpool. Um, so he makes his way in at right mid. Um, Carroll joined us on loan from Tottenham, one of the many places he went on loan uh, in 2013-14 season, played for us 26 times, uh, was quite a good young uh, prospect but has kind of fallen a little bit to the wayside, he's doing okay at uh, Swansea now though. Uh, then next to him we have Leroy Fur. I think was an absolutely fantastic player for us, showing he's doing okay at Swansea as well, he played for us between 2014 and 2016, scoring a total of uh, 8 goals in 48 games. Obviously, he has now joined Swansea as well. Then we have uh, Andros Townsend, who was on loan, I believe. Yeah, it was on loan from Tottenham back in 2013. Uh, didn't play too many times, played 12 times, only got two goals, but actually I think was really, really good in the little stint uh, that he was with us. Then we have um, Ravel Morrison, who was absolutely fantastic. Joined us again, it was a loan from West Ham uh, back in 2017 and also in 2014. The 2014 shift, he did really, really well, getting fifth, uh, 15 games and five goals, so fair play to him. Up top, my favorite two players in this team, We first of all, we have the Scream version of Peter Crouch. Absolutely phenomenal card. Uh, he was with us back in 2000 and 2001. Uh, played 42 games and got himself 10 goals, which is uh, not a bad turnaround. Uh, obviously quite a big uh, player as well. He was uh, actually in our youth team as well, back in 94, 95 uh, in, in the youth team, which is actually when I was born. So he joined us from Brentford and then he went to the Tottenham youth team. Uh, and then obviously that's where he started playing uh, originally. Uh, but partnering him, we have the one and only Charlie Austin, a bit of a, obviously within my time of being a QPR fan, a bit of a legend really. Um, he joined us back in 2013 from Burnley uh, and he scored 45 goals in 82 games. Obviously some of that being in the Premiership as well. So massive, massive uh, credit to him. It's, I'm good to see, I'm good, I'm glad to see that he's um, starting to get through the ranks a little bit at Southampton now because it was a bit of a waste when he went and just didn't play. Uh, but it's nice to see him starting to be recognised. I think he's got himself like six goals or something this season. But that is the team I have pieced together. Hopefully, it's a team that can do pretty well in the uh, daily knockout tournament because the last one with the QPR team, we got all the way to the semi-final. Let's see if we can get any further than that and maybe even win the thing. Let's find out. Okay, so now we are going to get into the gameplay. This is the first team we came up against, a very, very nice Bundesliga team. You've got Neuer in there, Werner. Uh, you've got Royce, Rodriguez. It was a really, really nice looking team and I thought this is not the way that we want to start this kind of against an absolutely fantastic team. Uh, plus, obviously, with the formation I've had to pick, I have only got three at the back, which isn't ideal. Uh, but we started off okay. Neuer obviously making uh, life difficult for us anyway. But Heaton, with his own saves, he was actually okay, Heaton. I was, wasn't expecting too much. Um, but the first half was very, very cagey. A few chances, nothing really in the game. Uh, but we get the ball to Austin, who does open up the goal scoring. Peter Crouch and Austin in this team, by the way, are very, very good cards. The Inform Austin and the Scream Crouch. When that Crouch is um, boosted for like the Halloween, like the scary boosts, whenever they do them, he is absolutely phenomenal. But even as a regular card in his, like his Scream card, that is, he's very, very good. So I definitely re recommend trying him if you've got the coins. But you see there, Royce does get himself a goal, which is not ideal for us. Um, but 
like I said, the fours in this team are very, very good and they do get you goals, especially, like I said, Charlie Austin banging himself a second goal in the bottom corner. It just felt good, this team. It really did feel good. Uh, Ravel Morrison as well. He's only a silver um, and he's pretty difficult to link to because uh, he's not in a fantastic league. The fact he's English does make it easier. Uh, but he's actually a really, really good card. I highly recommend it if you uh, are quite good with like dribblers because his dribbling stat is pretty decent. But we did win the first game 3-1. A fairly comfortable victory in the end. It felt like it could have gone either way in the first half, but the second half we ran house. This is the second team we came up against. Berkey, who we did really well against in our um, QPR one. Didn't do too well against the QPR players. But the Christmas Lingard and Jesus up top is always a bit of a scary partnership when you see a Jesus. But they do take the lead of a free kick routine that they I know what's happening I know what's coming but I just never seem to stop them uh, which is really frustrating but we do get the ball to Crouch who does fire it into the back of the net making it 1-1 uh, I think we did need to get a quick rebound from that free kick which we did we did get back into it really quickly but a nice save from Heaton not particularly great defending but um, it's it's kind of we work our way out of it and we get away with it uh, but we get the ball out wide to Townsend, who just finesses it past Berkey. I, I'm not a big fan of Berkey this year. I don't think he's very good. So when I see I'm about to play one, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, Routledge making a fantastic run through here. And I wanted Routledge to get the goal, and he does. It does get a deflection off of the defender, but it goes in, and it, it's given to Routledge anyway. Um, but 3-1, uh, just going into the second half. Uh, Austin here, he's not the quickest of players, but no one was getting anywhere near him. I should have done better, I should have scored it, but it was, a, it was actually a good save from Berkey in the end. But from the resulting corner, you'd expect Crouch to get a header, instead he gets a volley. It's a fantastic volley as well. Berkey, absolutely nowhere near it, not getting anywhere near that. But it's 4-1, uh, about 60 or so minutes gone. Um, an instant reaction from that um, goal, they do go straight from the kickoff and score a goal themselves to make it 4-2. But we were pretty comfortable in this game. I, d I didn't see them getting back into it, but when you can just do that with Charlie Austin, he just kind of opens himself up and finesses it into that far corner. 5-2 was the final score for the second round, the quarterfinals. So we do make our way into the semi-finals. Now this is where things got really really crazy and I mean this is where QPR the actual QPR team went out so if we won this game we we upped them by one but you know player of the month uh, Mane the prime deco inform Jesus it was going to be difficult but we opened the scoring we did get the first goal with Peter Crouch and a really really nice goal now you don't wanna you don't wanna blink too much during this because if you do you're gonna miss goals because I mean this here what on earth happened there it went in, we were onside, that's the main thing, 2-0. All I can say is a lot of goals were scored here. 2-1 now, Jesus was a real problem in this game. He was an absolute thorn in our side. As you can see here, a free kick, what do they do? A normal routine, and yet again, I can't block it. I just can't block free kicks. So if you play me and you get a free kick, that's probably a surefire goal for you. Um, but goals are going in left, right and centre in this game. Crouch with a fantastic finish. And actually Edison is someone I normally struggle to score against and his inform card both looks and is pretty good. Ferdinand even getting himself on the score sheet during this one. 4-2 now. Um, we get a bit unlucky here. It's a really nice finish from Jesus, uh, but a great save initially from Eaton. So I was a little bit miffed to see that one go in. Um, but here, maybe a bit of a soft penalty, but we do get a penalty. Fur taken down by David Silva in their box and we get a really good chance here to make it 5-3 and get our two gold lead back and we get it in the top left corner the keeper getting nowhere near that and we get it to 5-3 feeling a little bit more comfortable now i was pretty happy i sat back maybe a little bit too much I, again my defense is shoddy heater makes a great save but they do find the back of the net there uh, i can't remember who scored that one but makes it 4-5 so again what we needed to do was get that two gold cushion back we get it to Routledge, who passes it across to Crouch, who just gets a nice little tapped finish underneath the keeper's legs. But the game is not done there. 6-4, very quickly becomes 6-5. They were rebounding and getting back on us really, really quickly after we scored. And actually from our kickoff, they got the ball back from us and they just tapped it in again, literally like two, three minutes later to make it 6-6. And I was really frustrated that I'd thrown away a number of leads and 6-6 six, six was then really difficult. It actually went into extra time from there, which I wasn't too pleased about, and they took the lead, making it 7-6. So I was then really starting to stress out of the fact that I've had the lead a number of times, and now in extra time, I concede first, 
We do get it to Austin though, who absolutely nails that one home. Edison getting nowhere near that. So we do make it to 7-7 and from here I thought, right, I can't concede again. If I get the lead, I need to keep it. So I got it to 8-7. Routledge with a great strike actually, that was top corner as well. His shooting stat is only in like the 60s I think. Um, but we didn't stop there. 8-7, very, very shortly after that it became 9-7. Crouch finding the bottom corner. He, I think he got like six goals this game or something ridiculous. He absolutely went ham. Uh, he then popped up again with another goal. Nice driven cross across the goal. Like I said, this Crouch card, even when he's not boosted his screen card, is really, really good. I haven't used his regular silver card, so I can't vouch for that one. But very, very similar kind of finish. Austin powers it across and makes it 7-11 to us. So we got 11 goals in that game, which is crazy. We did concede seven, but we did score 11, which was nice. But we go into the finals. Now this guy was a fantastic player. I think if I had my normal team, this would have been a really, really good game because this guy by far was the best player out of all of them that we played. Uh, but we get a free kick nice and early on, which is fairly comfortable for De Gea to save. But uh, Moy does open the scoring from them, making it 1-0. Now that free kick at the start, like I said, it was a fairly comfortable save, but I felt like I needed to show some of my highlights in this game. Let's just say, this one didn't go our way, boys. We're 2-0 down now. Jesus, very, very comfortable. And again, Jesus just storming through. You can't let Jesus get that kind of space. He makes it 3-0. We're 3-0 down, boys, in like 35 minutes. I think by this point, the kind of the novelty factor of this team for me, like Austin getting a great goal there, the novelty factor of the team doing really, really well, making great chances, it didn't last long enough. And the other guys... I was maybe a slightly better player than, or I outplayed in those games. So that kind of carried me through. This guy, however, I think we were probably on par. He was maybe even a better player than me. And the team difference really helped him. Three at the back in this game was a big problem. I just couldn't, I just couldn't stop him scoring. As you can see, it's 5-1. So the one goal we got was a bit of a consolation, but not much. The goal scoring carried on. So we got 11 in that first game. And I was like, at least we scored seven. This time we concede seven, but only get one. So not a, not a great turnout for us, but that is the end. We got all the way to the final, but we did lose in the final, which is really disappointing. But the ex-QPR players did make it one further than the current QPR players. Maybe the icon did help with that. But for now, boys, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Leave a like if you did. And of course, comment to let me know other teams you think I should do. There is another team that was mentioned in one of the previous ones that I have started to build a squad for. But the players at the moment have kind of peaked in price. So I'm going to wait a little bit and build that squad and do that another time. But like I said, let me know. For now, boys, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. And of course, look after yourselves. See you later, boys.